Okay, this isn't uh, really a lecture. This is just a, a uh, little demonstration and uh, actually an intro to your assignment, which will be the Walter Fent collision assignment. Uh, so let's share the uh, Walter Fent page. Uh, let's, uh, let's reload it. So we'll come in from the beginning. Uh, and this is a uh, uh, little virtual uh, experiment that, where you can do elastic and inelastic collisions. Those of you that were in class last Thursday um, uh, were introduced to this particular page. Uh, you can do both, again, elastic collisions and inelastic collisions, and uh, you can change the you can uh, change some values. You can go from elastic collisions to inelastic collisions just by changing the radio button. If it's elastic, there's a spring. If it's an inelastic, it's got a little coupler where the two uh, cars mate. Uh, you can change the uh, mass. Uh, between 0.1 kilograms and um, uh, one kilogram, we'll change. We're just going to change this to let's call this uh, uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.75 kilograms. Uh, okay, it made it 0.8, um, and let's make this uh, just three meters per second, and let's do the same. Uh, uh, let's make it 0.8. And this one you can leave zero. When you're doing the elastic collision, you can leave it at zero. And let's uh, start it. And you can see there's the exchange of um, velocities. But notice that it shows you the uh, velocity before and the velocity after. Uh, it also shows you the momentum before and the momentum after. And it shows you the kinetic energy before and the kinetic energy after. Not only in graphical form, but it shows you, see wagon one is 0 0.036 joules, wagon two is zero joules, and the total kinetic energy is 0 0.036 joules. And then you can look after the, uh, the what I call post-collision. So you have pre-collision and post-collision, and it's zero joules, 0 0.036 joules, and 0 0.036 joules of total kinetic energy. Uh, so you can look at those, uh, each of those values, and you're supposed to choose each of those values um, and to add to your uh, paper. So let's reset it. And now let's make it inelastic. Um, but I said for this one, let's choose a, uh, uh, let's choose a different mass. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make this one 0 0.2. I'm going to make this one Actually, I'm going to make this one 0.4 and make this one 0.2, uh, but I'm going to give it a, uh, a velocity of minus 0.3 meters per second. Um, and it already shows you uh, the values. I, I think, uh, you know, so it shows you the pre and the post velocities. Uh, let's start it. And... Okay, the uh, the more massive wagon uh, predominated. Let's uh, you can reset it and do it. Look at it in the momentum. Uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second is total, and 0 0.06 kilogram meters per second is uh, total. So you have conservation of uh, momentum. But notice the kinetic energy. Uh, some of the kinetic energy has gone into deforming the the coupler, um, so you can you can see some of the kinetic energy is lost. Uh, so the, your assignment is to pick an elastic collision. You can leave the uh, wagon two velocity zero, but in the um, in elastic collision, I want you to make it a negative velocity and and see what happens but i want your calculations i want your calculations done neatly and understandably uh when you turn it in this assignment is due the um uh this is assignment is due uh, i believe it's the 18th uh let's see where where is the calendar um so this this uh today's the ninth uh, yes, the 18th, Thursday the 18th. So not this Thursday, 
But the following Thursday, that gives you more than a week uh, to do the assignment. Um, so you have an assignment for this, uh, this, uh, this chapter. Okay.